We are in Western Regional Park in Western Howard County looking at one of the most unusual rocks in Maryland. This particular rock is called the Sykesville Formation and it is it has earlier been called a boulder gneiss because it's a basically a sedimentary rock that consists of all chunks of rock like a conglomerate uh, from a few inches in size such as these pieces here up to pieces that are a mile and a half in length those are found in places in Virginia the ones that are really huge are not suitable to look at because it's hard to realize that it's an individual piece of rock the geologists who mapped it originally mapped them as separate rock units when they're really large pebbles. Now, to get pieces of rock like this, you can see this one here, uh, it's very difficult to do it by conventional means because water, moving water, doesn't move rocks like this and lump it in with finer grained material. This is actually lands, landslide deposits that have been produced at the front of thrust faults where one chunk of the Earth's crust has been pushed up and over another. Uh, this was all underwater at the time. It's hard to, hard to imagine. Here we are, a nice, peaceful, rural country, dry land. Back at the time these rocks were made, made this was a very steep slope underwater and when the fault would move and push over up and over the leading edge of the fault would create a very steep slope which would then break off slide down and then the fault would override it so you've got this unit made up of large chunks of rock which was then overridden by the fault that produced this uh, topography in the first place. In this particular case, you can see these two chunks right in here. They themselves are metamorphic rock. You can see the banding in it. And the history of this chunk right here would be extremely complicated. You start out with sediments being deposited in the ocean. Then they are folded and metamorphosed, that is cooked under high heat and pressure, so you get this metamorphic banding in here. Then this piece of rock itself is broken off as it's pushed up in the fault. Chunks of it slide down, are embedded in a mass of landslide material below the fault, which is then overridden and then that enormous mass of rock itself is again metamorphosed and cooked. So we have this whole unit here, the, the whole outcrop is a mass of metamorphic rock. <coughs> it's very difficult to put an age on this, a, an accurate age. You can date some of the igneous rocks that are in it and it's possible using the micas in it to get dates when it was last cooked but neither of those dates is the date that it was deposited uh, the best estimate is half a billion years that would be plus or minus a uh, hundred million or so so that's not very precise um, the rock itself extends from Pennsylvania down into Virginia and uh, it is as well exposed here as, about, as it is about anywhere. Okay, this is another view of the same outcrop, uh, Sykesville Formation. I want to call attention to this slab right here. This is a piece of outside rock that's been dumped down the slope and then incorporated in the sediment below. Uh, again, the geology of the topography at the time was completely different from anything you see here. This was very violent geology. This would have been an area underwater with lots and lots of earthquakes because it's where two plates were sliding against each other. Uh, here's the outcrop right here and again this is a piece of metamorphic rock with metamorphic banding right here. This rock itself is rather fine-grained 
and it's very much in contrast to the rest of the rock here which is a very coarse grained almost gravel like material so anyway this chunk right here is the one I'm looking at there are also veins running all through here uh, quartz veins granite veins that came in later when this entire rock was metamorphosed and cooked at a later date uh, this area has been deformed back around half a billion years ago when this rock was first deposited and if you look at the dates of cooking that's shown by radiometric dates in the mica it turns out this area was again deformed about 450 million years ago it was again deformed around 350 million years ago and it was again deformed around 250 million years ago so this area has really been through the ringer uh, when it first started out the f fact that it was uh, deformed around half a billion years ago tells us that it was originally not part of North America at all because at the time this corner of North America was quite peaceful more like the Gulf Coast today geologically very uninteresting to people like me who are interested in really active geology okay this is another part of the same outcrop and in this particular one we can see a line of pale rock extending through here cutting across everything in the earlier rock uh, there are chunks of rock here such as right up here that are embedded in the main outcrop these are the, some of the boulders or pieces that were deposited and this crack runs right across it uh, this crack by the uh, law of geology called the, the principle of cross-cutting relations anything that cuts across something else has to be younger than that something else so this vein here and it's actually a granite vein is came in after the rock itself was formed and after the rock itself was cooked because this cuts across all the uh, metamorphic structures in here what the date exact date of this rock is the granite that is again I do not know if anyone has dated this particular one uh, if it has a zircon in it then you could actually get the date that it came in otherwise the date is going to be the date that it finally cooled down enough to start the rock running different geologic clocks work in different ways uh, but this granite indicates that there was a lot of geologic or at least a little bit of geologic activity after well long after the main rock was formed this is the granite vein again here and I just wanted to point out here is another chunk of rock that was deposited in this when the when the main rock was being deposited so this is a small boulder uh, what's called a cobble that was deposited when the rock was deposited it itself is a metamorphic rock that was cooked before it was ever deposited in here and then has been cooked again as this main rock was metamorphosed and then later the granite itself came in and if there's granite coming through the rock here that again is another period of cooking so we have at least three separate periods of really active geology that are demonstrated in this one little spot right in here.